provisions in instrument not affecting negotiability. Question. Is certainty as to the sum of amount to be paid affected by the provisions in the instrument concerning interest, payment of install payment by installments, rate of exchange, cost of collection, attorney's fees and like conditions? Is the sum of money to be paid be affected by the provisions of the instrument concerning interest? Payment by installments, rate of exchange, cost of collection, attorney's fees, and like conditions. So, is that sum of element be, be affected? The answer is no. Such conditions are determinable at the maturity of the instrument. They do not make the order or promise conditional. They do not take place during the life of the instrument that is before the date of maturity thereof. So again, the amount or the sum of money to be paid to be paid in the instrument is not affected. Those conditions are determinable at the maturity of the instruments. Mm -hmm. After after the maturity date, that's a time um, those conditions are already to be determined. Again, um, those conditions are already to be determined. Those conditions are already to be uh, to be taken effect after the maturity or at the maturity of the instrument. Conditions, such conditions are determinable at the maturity of the instrument. They do not make the order or promise conditional. They do not take place during the life of the instrument, that is, before the date of maturity thereof. Again, the logic behind those conditions, oh, those interest, payment by installments, rate of exchange, cost of collection, attorney's fees, and like conditions shall only take effect and shall only affect the sum of money after or at the maturity date. Before maturity date, it will not make the instrument conditional. Mm -hmm. So, before maturity date, um, these conditions shall not affect the sum of money. Before maturity date. At the maturity date, that's the time they will affect the sum of money. That is um, for these cases. Call payments by interest. Ah, interest. Um, payment by installment. Next. Is negotiability of the instrument affected by a provision therein indicating a particular fund out of which a um, disbursement is made or a particular account to be again um, is negotiability of the instrument affected by a provision therein indicating a particular fund out of which disbursement is made or a particular account to be debited or a statement of the transaction which which gives rise to the instrument the answer is no so this provision indicating particular fan out of which disbursement is made or a particular account to be debited or a statement of this transaction which gives rise to that instrument these provisions will not affect the negotiability of the instrument. Such provision is merely intended for accounting purposes. It is different when an order or promise is to pay the instrument out of a particular fund, in which case the order or promise is conditional and it is violative of Section 1, Paragraph B of the Negotiable Instruments Law. So, again, um, when it comes with this provision indicating a particular fund out of which disbursement is made, a particular ca account to be deb debited, a statement of the transaction which gives rise to the uh, statement of the transaction which gives rise to the instrument, these provisions shall not affect the negotiability of the instrument because they are only for the purpose of uh, for the purpose of accounting. But 
it is different when an order or promise is to pay the instrument out of a particular fund in which case the order or promise is conditional and is violated so here when it comes to the provision of particular fund out of which disbursement is made disbursement disbursement but when it comes paying an order or promise to pay the instrument out of a particular fund is already different again disbursement the provision about disbursement from a particular fund is different from the order or promise to pay the instrument out of a particular fund it's different the former is only for accounting purposes the latter is a violative of the section one parag paragraph b next is an instrument without a fixed or specified date negotiable is an instrument without a fixed or specified date negotiable yes as long as as long as the unfixed or unspecified future date is determinable again even the instrument is without fixed or specified date still it is negotiable instrument without a fixed or specified date is negotiable as long as the unfixed or unspecified future date is determinable therefore payable on demand negotiable instrument payable on demand when is an instrument payable on demand so again is only a review again when is an instrument payable on demand when so express or provided to be payable on demand when so expressed or provided to be payable on demand express or provided stated to be payable on demand or when no date of maturity or time for payment is provided therein so therefore payable on demand there is when it is expressly stated or expressly provided to be payable on demand or when there is no date of maturity next uh, words with similar meaning or import bearer or order question is it necessary to use the words bearer or order for an instrument to be negotiable is it necessary to use the word bearer or order the answer is no it is sufficient that words or similar meaning or import are used the synonymous meaning the synonymous words can be used anti-dating or post-dating of instrument what's that anti-dating or post-dating question does anti-dating or post-dating make an instrument invalid or non-negotiable no again anti-dating or post-dating does not invalidate than the the negotiability of an instrument Post-dating or anti-dating does not affect the validity or negotiability of an instrument. Otherwise, valid and negotiable, um, valid and negotiable instrument as long as it is not done for an illegal or fraudulent purposes. Mm, okay, as a general rule, as a general rule, post-dating or anti-dating of an instrument of a check does not affect the the negotiability of the instrument of the check but if that if anti-dating or post-dating of an instrument is for the purpose of illegal or fraudulent purposes then therefore um, the instrument the validity or the negotiability of the instrument is affected again um, post-dating or anti-dating as a general rule does not affect the 
negotiability of an instrument except in cases of illegal or fraudulent purpose. Next, bearer instrument. What is a bearer instrument? It is one which on its face is payable to bearer. Even if it is endorsed specially, it continues to be negotiable by mere delivery. The only way to stop further negotiation is to endorse it restrictively for deposit only again a very instrument it is one on which on its face is payable to bearer mm -mm. payable to bearer or payable to whomsoever uh, or whosoever um, is in possession of the check is payable to bearer even if it is endorsed especially it continues to be negotiable by mere delivery the only way to stop further negotiation is to endorse it restrictively by placing for deposit only negotiable still um, payable to bearer payable to the holder in due course payable to the to the person who is in possession of this Payable, or oh, that's the bearer instrument. Payable to bearer. Now next, problem. The instrument reads as follows. We're in Manila, June 22, 1999. Pay to B or bearer 10,000 pesos, signed A to X. At the back of the instrument, B wrote the endorsement. Pay to C or order, signed B. A to C or order. This is at the back of this instrument. A to C or order. Now, question. Uh, next. After receiving the instrument from B as endorsed, uh, after receiving the instrument from B, C delivered the instrument to D who paid value thereof in good faith. Okay, yeah. So again, um, it is signed by X, signed by A, uh, gives it to X, mm -mm, and then pays to B. And then, now, pay to C or order signed by B. So this time, um, from A, from A, um, A issued the check, issued the check to B, from A to B. So now, B delivered it, delivered the check or endorsed, B endorsed it to C. From A, issued a issue it to B and B delivers it to C. There is already an annotation at the back of the check, at the back of the instrument. After receiving the instrument for from B as endorsed, yes, the endorser here is B. Mm -mm. The issuer is A. A is the issuer, issue it to B. And B endorses it to C. B is the endorser, C is the endorsee. Now, C delivered the instrument to D who paid therefore in good faith. So, D now is the holder in due course. Assuming that the instrument was presented at maturity to X. Okay, kasi it is, um, X here is the drawing. So, presented, D already presented it to X at maturity to X. Mm -hmm. And the latter dishonored the instrument by non-payment. Can D collect from A after giving requisite notice of dishonor? Yes, this is a uh, situation is this previously discussed already. So in this case, D is a holder in good faith. So D is considered as holder in due course. So can D collect? Can D collect from A after giving requisite notice of this honor? The answer is yes. 
B can collect from A because the instrument is a bearer instrument. Bearer instrument, as again, is um, as discussed, bearer instrument is it is one on its face payable to bearer or bearer means whomsoever is in possession hereof. Whoever possess this check shall be the pay shall be the bearer. Even if it is endorsed especially, it continues to be negotiable by mere delivery. So, yes, can D, D can collect from A because the instrument is a bearer instrument. It continues to be negotiable by mere delivery even if the last or only endorsement is a special endorsement. Negotiation by mere delivery of such instrument can only be stopped if restrictively endorsed for deposit only. This is this is the only real restricted restrictive endorsement. So again, if there is no phrase stipulated in the check for deposit only, the mere delivery of of the instrument, the mere delivery of check can make the last or can make the endorsee holder in due course. So even D um, endorse it to E and E endorse it to F and F endorse it to G. The, the Now G is the holder in due course. Still, G can collect from A. Again, even though it was even though D endorsed it to G, G is the holder of due course. Um, it's, it, it is a mere delivery. By mere delivery of instrument cannot be stopped. Mm -mm. Because the instrument continues to become um, negotiable. So G can still um, collect from A. So just only going to X. Mm -hmm.